Uh, STEM, for those of you that do not know, stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And we are a STEM school, so we like to focus on those, uh, those subjects. Uh, we teach all subjects, but we have a lot of fun doing STEM. So every year we have a festival called the STEM Festival in which the students have worked on projects throughout the year. They're a lot of fun, they're very interesting, a lot of fun to watch and look at. And uh, it's open to the community, so we have politicians, parents, people from the community come by our school and talk to the students about their projects and have them explain the principles, scientific principles behind uh, their experiments. It's a lot of fun. You can ride a hovercraft. You can uh, watch things float in the air, uh, see optical illusions, and I have a lot of fun doing it every year. This is the homopolar engine, or also known as the simplest electric motor. It's created when uh, energy from the batteries travels through the copper wire, creating a magnetic field, which then reacts oppositely with the magnets at the bases of the batteries. Hello, this is the experiment called standing on a light bulb. Basically what I will do is I will stand on three light bulbs um, our project is rotational inertia and so what it is it's um, so he's spinning and when he opens his arms he uh, spins fa uh, slower because he has um, more rotational inertia but when he closes his hands in he goes faster because he has less rotational inertia uh, this project is about black is about gravity and black holes uh, we use this fabric around here to represent space and time, which is Einstein's theory of general relativity. Um, Einstein's theory of general relativity states that any object with mass warps space and time around it. So, right here we put a mass in the center, and the objects that are falling around it are going in, and this more or less represents gravity. The objects spinning around it represent an orbit, like planets in the solar system. The reason they're going towards the mass, though, is because there's gravity here on Earth. But in space, they will keep going around and around, as if in an orbit. Today we're here at Harmony Science Academy, and the freshman class are showing off their projects that they made for their PBL. So we have different projects ranging from genetics, cancer, prosthetic hand, the different body systems. So really what they did is it's a year-long program, and this is the day when they're basically showing off what they did. And it's really a way where students, they're the ones that are teaching it, so instead of being taught something, they're able to teach other students what they learn. So it should be a fun way for them to show things, so they try to make it interactive. So if you go around, you can see that a lot of them are interactive because they don't want the students that are learning just to be passive. So I hope everyone enjoys today and takes a look. They did a lot of hard work into it, so everyone, please enjoy. Okay, this project is how the uh, lungs help the oxygen travel through your, through your body. Um, first, your inhaled air goes to the bronchi from, and there it goes to microscopic little air sacs called the alveoli. From there, the uh, blood absorbs the oxygen to make it travel through your, through your body. Of course, it's helped with the, with the heart because the heart bumps the blood, so that's pretty much how it travels through your body. This is a little model of how you ex inhale and exhale. And did you know that your right lung is bigger than your left? Another fun fact is your lung um, is the only organ that can float on water. And you take approximately 22,000 breaths every four hours, every 24 hours. Um, the strings on the human hand, they, this represents as the tendons, move the arm by giving it movement to the fingers, actually.